As a Rex official who serves on the committee that selects the king, James Reese III is used to keeping secrets. But this year, it also involved a surprise when he showed up to a meeting with a list of Rex members he thought deserved the honor. They seemed to agree with one of my selections, which I was thrilled about. And as we finished up that portion of the meeting, um, one of the other fellow committeemen stopped the entire meeting and said, wait a minute, this isn't right. This is not what we agreed upon. And I said, this is exactly what we just agreed upon. And uh, he said, no, it's not. We, we think we've made a mistake. And I said, you made a mistake? We all agreed. He said, no, no, we've made a mistake. It needs to be you. And they had obviously pre, uh, prearranged that. So I was, I was shocked and surprised and, and thrilled to death. Like all kings of carnival, Reese has a record of service. Rex 2022 is also a Marine and a former helicopter pilot in Afghanistan. Among his many military honors is a 2004 Distinguished Flying Cross for Heroism. Since retiring as a Marine captain, he's served many military organizations, including the New Orleans Military and Maritime Academy and the local VFW Post. Reese serves as co-chair of the Mayor's Mardi Gras Advisory Council and a board member of the Police and Justice Foundation, Lighthouse Louisiana, and Rex's Pro Bono Publico Foundation, which has given more than $10 million to local schools since Hurricane Katrina. So I would say what I'm most proud of is the, the, is the creation of the Pro Bono Publico Foundation, which embodies the spirit of our motto and really puts into action what it is that we were really founded to do. Reese, who's a graduate of Metairie Park Country Day and Ole Miss, is now an executive at First Horizon Advisors, formerly known as Iberia Bank. He and his wife Erica have three children, and his family connections to Carnival are strong, especially when it comes to his grandmother. My grandmother, Alice Peak Reese, was a local artist who was the Rex Royal artist for many years, up until 1968. She designed both the floats and the costumes. And as a leader in Rex, Reese has come to embrace its role in the city and carnival. You know, Rex's motto is pro bono publico or for the public good. And I think that is a great representation of how people think of Rex. Rex was founded on the principles of making the city better at a time when it really needed help economically. It needed a boost in its tourist industry. And I think that's how people think of us. I think people think of Rex as, as a, an organization that tries to do good in, by all facets of New Orleans. This year's King of Carnival is close friends with the family of the Queen, Miss Eleanor Pito White. She's the daughter of Michael and Virginia White. Known as Ellie, she's a Country Day graduate, now a senior at the University of Texas, majoring in public relations. At Country Day, she was in the Honor Society, a tennis player, and volunteered at the Bright School for the Deaf. It was founded in 1959 by members of the Bright and White families to meet the needs of deaf children, including Ellie's dad. The Bright School is a very meaningful school to my family, and I've spent many summers there working as an assistant, teacher, and just anywhere that they need help. I've helped them out. It's been wonderful. It's made a huge impact for my dad and many kids still today. It has helped so many people. Now, Ellie learned she'd be queen right before the pandemic, which canceled last year's parades and balls. Rex and many other crews carried over the courts of 2021 to 2022. I found out that I was going to be Queen of Carnival when I was on vacation with my parents and we had plans to go snorkeling that afternoon. We love to snorkel and I'm also a scuba diver. So my dad had gotten in the water early and started screaming, Ellie, Virginia, there's a lobster, you have to come see it. So me and my mom ran down and threw on our snorkel gear, jumped in the water and started swimming. and. There were cups and doubloons and beads and a crown, but there was no lobster. And I came up to the surface and my mom said, Ellie, you're gonna be queen of carnival. And I was so shocked and we went back and just celebrated and looked at old photos of other family members who have been in the ball and involved. Those family members include her great great aunt, Eleanor Bright Richardson, the Queen of Carnival in 1920, and that's who she's named after. To be Queen is a huge honor for both me and my family, and we are just so humbled and excited to have this experience.
Meg Farris, Eyewitness News.